multiplication property of exponents. Exponents are shorthand for repeated multiplication of the same number by itself. For example, instead of writing 2 times 2, we can write 2 squared. Or, for example, instead of 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, so we multiply 3 by itself 4 times, we can just write 3 to the power of 4. In algebra, a variable is a letter that we use for a number. So, for exponents here, you can see, we can also use the letters x, y, a, b, and so on. Exponents rules is x, let's say, a number to the power of a times x when these two bases, we call them base, so this is the base and that is the power to the power of b equals to, so the rule is this, write the base, whatever number it is, then add the powers. So add the powers. So x times x, just we just write the base x and the power is a plus b. a plus b. That is the first rule that we use. Also, if you have a number to the power of a, for example, and that is to the power of b, then the result is x, so it's a power of power. Power of power, then you need to multiply these two. Of, in the language of mathematics, it just means times or multiply by. a times b is just ab. So x to the power of ab. Instead of x to the power of a, then to the power of b, let's take a look at some examples here to learn the logic that is behind this. So, for example, I want to multiply 2 squared times 2 to the power of 3. So we know that based on this rule, we need to add the power, so it's 2 to the power of 5. But if you think about this number, 2 squared, it is actually 2 times 2, then times 2 cubed, or 2 to the power of 3, is actually 2 times 2 times 2. Is Now, 2 is multiplied by itself. How many 2's do we have here? 5. So it is 2 to the power of 5. So, 2 squared times 2 cubed, the answer is 2 to the power of 5. Let's take a look at some examples here. It is 3 times 3 squared. So we know that this 3 is just 3 times 3 squared is just 3 times 3. So actually, if you write it in the exponent form, it's 3 to the power of 3. And 3 times 3 times 3 is actually 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. Next one here, 6 to the power of 3 times 6. So 6 to the power of 3 is actually 6 times 6 times 6. And then we multiply by another 6 here. So the answer is 6 to the power of 4. Or you can use this rule here, the multiplication property of exponent, that the base are 6, just write it down. Well, we know that 6 here is to the power of 1. So 3 plus 1 is 4 to the power of 4. Now let's take a look at the next one. Here we have this one, 2 times x to the power of 3 is actually 2 times x times x times x and we have also another x so we have four of them so the answer is 2x to the power of 4 or just use the rule the multiplication property of exponent just add the powers x simply means x to the power of 1 so 3 plus 1 is 4 next one 5 times 5 times 5 you can write it as 5 cubed and x, x to the power of 5, x to the power of 5, x to the power of 5, just write x and then add the powers. 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15. Next one. 3 times 2 is just 6. x, and then x here is to the power of 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. 
So 6x to the power of 4 is the answer. Next one. 5 times 5, you can write 25 or you can write 5 squared. 5 squared. x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 4 is just x to the power of 8. Just add them up. Add the powers. And y to the power of 2 is just y to the power of 2. Next one. 4 times 6 is just 24. So when you don't have the same base, just multiply it. 4 and 6 are two different numbers, so multiply them. 4 times 6 is 24. x to the power of 5 and x to the power of 3 is just x to the power of 8. Add them up. X to the, uh, y to the power of 4 times y to the power of 3 is 4 plus 3 is 7. Next one. 6 times 8, these two are different bases, different numbers, so it is 48. Just write it, write it down, 48. A, here 8 to the power of 5 and 8 to the power of 1 is 8 to the power of 6. And B to the power of 2 and to the power of 4 is 6. So it's B to the power of 6.